Namaste and welcome to the new Soul Horoscope Super Scope. My name is Christopher Raymond Watecki. I am a modern mystic and a soul biographer. What I'm really here to do is help people connect to their spirituality any way they see fit and also help them put their stories together. And that's where the power of astrology and numerology and some other tools really help me. And I've divined, uh, designed these uh, horoscopes, these new super scopes, to help people become super. Seriously. <laughs> I believe in superness and superness is definitely something we all dream about with Superman and all the super friends and superheroes. Human beings want to be super and that's the nature of our universe is to expand and be greater and to understand who we are. And I gotta say when you're a Leo or you have a Leo rising like myself you already were born feeling super. That's kind of part of what it's like to be a Leo. Part of that heaviness of the head to wear the crown because in your heart you know that you're uh, not the average Joe. You know that you have a spark in you that isn't necessarily uh, what everyone else sees. And you usually want to have fun when everyone's really serious all the time. At least that's what I say. Well, this is uh, the truth of Leo. I always say Leo is royalty, but true royalty in the eyes of God, I think, is living in your heart. That's a royal life if you live in your heart, right? So Leos are about royal life. A Leo rising is about royal life. And now, with the sun in Capricorn, the question is, do you really live a royal life? I mean, with all the work you do and everything you put in, the day in and the day out, are you loving it? Is it the best thing you've ever done? Can you not wait, can't wait to get up and start your day? And are you filled with love and joy all day? That's really the big question for Leos and Leo Risings this month is whether or not they live in joy in the moment. Making sure my microphone's working because these are long takes, you know. Do you live in joy in the moment? Do you live in joy? You know, in joy should spell I-N-J-O-Y, as in in. So this is about lifestyle. This is about work style. This is about where you live. This is about the zone you live in. Um, this is about me printing my video back on. And we're about to, this week, Leo's and Leo Risings, make some sort of change, some sort of change, maybe a left turn at Albuquerque, where Bugs Bunny makes that left turn that changes your lifestyle and therefore changes your faith in yourself because this opposes with Jupiter and Cancer and therefore changes the direction of where your life goes. The wind blows a different way and this is because you're going to maybe change your mind. All these changes, yes, I do believe so. But let's look at a little bit more play-by-play -play on the changes, shall we? Uh, first of all, starting with here. As we come into the week, uh, the changes with the moon in Pisces. You are very vulnerable, very sensitive since Sunday, Monday, and early Tuesday. This is coming through the weekend, coming through a breakdown, realizing that what's going, how, the way life is going is not going to work. And this year, with all this energy in Capricorn, it really feels like it's not going to work unless life changes like now, right? So I know I was feeling it. I'm actually recording this late on Monday. Um, but this desire to have peace and feel better is what leads you to perhaps ch make changes or uh, open up your perspective on what can change in your daily life or in your daily routine, if nothing else, or your daily work life. Then on Tuesday, Wednesday, the moon goes into Aries, and so it's very philosophical for Leos and Leo Risings. A lot of emotional learning. Emotional learning is important because emotion is step two, and so emotion uh, is important. It gives you some... Uh, a reflection on exactly what you feel and this really leads to a decision on Wednesday. So we decide on Wednesday and what are you deciding? We are really actually pointing the entire ship into a new direction because the decision on Wednesday is one of a belief. You, it's a belief meets a moment and remember if you're having a hard time, if you're finding yourself between to take a job or not take a job, to move or not move, to uh, go on a diet or not go on a diet, to do a surgery or not do a surgery, uh, really, it comes down to, you know, a belief, and a belief comes down to the heart. Your heart wants something. Do you believe this is the only way it can happen? Is this the only way? Or is this the easy way or the quick way or whatnot? So that's where the devil gets us, is where we take the quick, rich scheme, right? The one that doesn't take the longer path sometimes. So you make that decision Wednesday. Thursday, you act on it. So we sign the check, we pull the, you know, pull the lever. At that point, there's a professional change for Leo's and Leo Risings. Now your career profession is now going to change as a result of this. So it's highly likely that this decision affects everything in this lifestyle change. 
And you know, this is Leo's deciding to live differently since the United States of America was formed. The last time Pluto was in Capricorn. In my opinion, this is the first time Leo's are changing the way they live. So, you know, a lot of Leo's I know were born to shift circumstance. Maybe that's because this in this country we don't like royalty so much. And maybe that's just a hardship with the ego of being a Leo. I'm talking to myself here. You know, maybe, uh, uh, maybe you know, this country doesn't like people thinking that they're more royal than everyone. I don't know. I'm just saying. But my, what I'm saying is, is that the way a Leo feels in the world and in the moment and the way a Leo rising feels in the world and in a moment will change here in about 20 minutes. And this is the first time it's changed since the 1760s. Seriously. That's something I talk about in the Megascope, by the way. So the point is you're actually making, you're kind of like leading. You're like the four lions of the new age, you know, if you're alive and watching this horoscope, uh, and you are anyways, uh, I just, you just know you are if you watch this horoscope. Okay, so we take the action, and then basically we manifest, womp womp, right here, Friday, Saturday, we love and trust and manifest, and, uh, and the moon is in Taurus, so it's still manifesting what? Career, and it's manifesting future. And then on Saturday, we are feeling the master shui, which means you're beginning to feel the new lifestyle. So I think you're gonna to start to feel the new lifestyle by Saturday. So as I said, the week focuses a radical shift in priorities and objectives. And this radical shift uh, really happens, it looks like, between Sunday and Wednesday. So I would bet that you wake up on Sunday thinking your life's going one way. And then Wednesday, Thursday, surprise, it's going another way. We will see. Let me know, my friend. Now, this brings me to the idea of what is consciousness anyways. Good question, Chris. I'm glad you asked. Consciousness is a stairway to heaven. And you know what? As my uh, sensei says, the stairway to heaven is single file. You meet your friends and family on the other side. That means that we cannot carry other people. We cannot make people walk with us. If people don't understand how to carry and walk up the stair, flight of stairs to enlightenment or ascension, then they'll figure it out, <laughs> you know, eventually. Um, and people do. The earth kind of forces you to. So the point here is that Leos are their own hero, you know, and uh, Leo risings are too. And look at step one, I love. Now, where do usually Leos goof up when it comes to being on the earth? Really, it's just one step that they usually goof up the most is I protect. Step zero, the step before their step. They don't take a step to protect themselves before they love. And then you have some Leos that stay in the zero all the time and they're afraid of actually loving. They just like to stay in that safe zero all the time. So that's where I see Leos stuck all the time. Uh, I don't usually have a problem with seeing Leos uh, take their love and shoot it way the hell up the staircase even though they're not ready for it. See that all the time. I see Leos pretend to be a step 11, which is two Leos, a Virgo. But nope, nope, uh, that's not it. You know, at the end of the day, it's love and it's, uh, and it's protect. So this is my little graphic. We're going to look at this every week and talk about which one of your steps are you falling out of. Because when you want to manifest, you've got to hit all these notes. It's 12 notes, and they've got to all like kind of sing like Madonna. And I use her as an example for a specific reason. Uh, so you are step one, Your Majesty. You come first. And really, step zero is an invisible step. All right? So this brings me now to my approach to living in harmony and living in joy every moment. And this is my new, uh, this is not something that I came up with, this, but it's something I honor. Uh, and it really deals with dealing with the step one and how to live in that one. So how do we live, uh, how do we live solid? How do we live grounded? How do we stay in peace? Those are my questions I set out uh, for once upon a time, seven, eight years ago. And um, I have a lot of philosophies. Live, love, be is definitely one of them. But live, love, be really doesn't hit it too much. That's kind of sing song and didn't really work out to be the phrase that I think directed mankind or humankind, female kind. So I decided it's something that actually came across uh, in a party scene. Plur. <laughs> Peace, love, unity, and respect. Really, these four words, I think, really summarize what we as humans can do to create world peace on planet Earth. And really, as I turn 40 and move on, for me, uh, my biggest promotion is world peace. I've, um, I've always, you know, been upset about that, <laughs> been upset that it can't be at peace. So, um, uh, so peace, love, unity, respect is how we're going to go forward and present the scopes right now. And let's first start with uh, the peace. Now. Yeah. The truth about peace is you have to have inner verse peace in order to have outer verse peace. So you cannot uh, have peace in the world unless people are peaceful on the inside. And really for Leos and Leo Risings, 
Uh, this is most played out, I think, when it comes to Saturn and Scorpio. Saturn and Scorpio is the essence of what's going to create peace uh, for y'all. All right. Uh, and this is the point of drawing emotional boundaries for yourself, which is zero. Zero is I protect. That's the boundary. The truth is we never draw a line with somebody. We draw a circle around them. All right. Or we draw a circle around ourselves. We put this circle around us. And that circle is protection. Like, hey, stay out of my hula hoop area. Stay away. That's a, that's a boundary. So innerverse peace. A lot of the Leo's charts show that you came from a home that had no boundaries, you came from a home that didn't respect boundaries, or you came from a home that forced crazy boundaries. Whatever the story was, now those boundaries need to be readjusted to where you are kept in inner peace. So that means that if someone disturbs your peace, they need to step outside the circle, or you need to move your circle somewhere else. And that is, I think, the biggest key for inner peace uh, now, there's another area, too, which is where to draw those boundaries. <clears throat> I think Leos and Leo Risings aren't sure where to draw those boundaries. I think in most cases, Leos are overreacting to the past, um, and Leo Risings are, too, because they are oversensitive, Neptune uh, and Chiron in their eighth house of trust and intimacy. So they're literally healing spiritually in their step zero area. So you literally have boundary issues. I do, too. I'm talking to myself here. And so I think this is what leads to not being in inner peace in the inner verse, which therefore leads to anyone in your life is a reflection of that inner verse. So any relationship that's not in peace, that's why. Any job that's not in peace, that's why. If you're not in peace, the world you attract is not in peace. Peace. <laughs> All right. Now, love. Love is my favorite. Peace, love, unity, respect, love. Once you have peace, you add love. And you just add it and add it and add it. It's the best catch-up of the universe. Love goes with everything, okay? And I think that uh, once you've found the peace, uh, Jupiter heading for Leo says that starting this summer, it's going to be a lot of love. God is investing in Leo next year and in Leo Risings this year. I mean, at the end of this year, uh, in July. So um, this means that it's time to prep for a lot of inner love. The more love you put on yourself or give yourself on the inside, the more you're going to shine and radiate in your outer verse. So you've always wondered what your wattage is. You've always wondered why you have a bad hair day or a good hair day. You got to give love to your inner self if you want your hair to grow nice. Okay, literally. You know, and I think that's why princesses just sit there and comb their hair. That's like, I love my hair. I love my hair. I love it. Oh my God, did you see Tom today? <laughs> or whatever. That's the loving. They're loving your hair. And, you know, love is an action, not a word. Um, all right, so, wah, wah. whoops, we went to respect. Let's go to unity first. Unity is where you want to unite your states of awareness. So my United States of Awareness, you know, those 12 steps of consciousness, you are all 12 steps, okay? So unity is that you can lift all 12 steps up as a foot. So what was 12 steps is one foot, you see? You can manifest as one foot, but you have to be conscious and aware of all 12 steps, and you have to have a united inner verse and when you have a united inner verse, the people outside of you are willing to unite with you, right? They're willing to work with you. Why? Because you're reasonable. You seem together, they say. You seem to have it all together. Well, really, it's just that your inner verse is united. Your own United States of your awareness. My USA is what I call that. And then lastly, we're going a little over here, 1333. I look up, and it's 1333. Isn't that funny how you look up, and that's what it is? Now I'm lost on respect. Where's the respect? There it is. So respect. What is respect? Respect is honoring the boundaries. Where are Leos having respect issues? Well, a lot of Leos are telling me where they feel disrespected. Okay, everyone does feel disrespected because if you are disrespected in the outer verse, that means you are disrespecting something in the inner verse. So in the inner verse, uh, what do, can you disrespect? Well, you tell yourself you're not going to do this and then you do it. You just disrespected your boundary. When you tell yourself you're going to get up in the morning and exercise and you don't, you disrespect your boundary. When you tell yourself you're going to not pick up his call when he calls again and hear his bullshit again, you disrespect your boundary. You have to respect your own boundaries, which are imaginary, which, yeah, can be moved, yes, which can be broken, but like any promise, when you break up, respect a circle, a ring of circle promise to yourself in the inner verse, then you draw in broken circles in the outer verse. And broken circles cannot make lifelong rings, okay? So, um, except ring around the collar. I don't know why I just went there, but I just went way Calgon just now. 
Uh, so respect your innerverse. People will respect every, and you will be respected. And this is the essence of living in plur. So my challenge to you is to live in peace, love, unity, and respect every day for seven days and see what happens. See how your life gets a little plurry. Seriously. All right, so a couple of things I want to show you. One is this, bom, bom, soulmart.me. I've got a couple of things you must know. One is the Megascope. This is a month-long prediction. I have Aquarius coming out next, so I'm just going to start putting these out like Legos, bom, 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 so that you can just uh, look into your year ahead and look deep. It's a different type of scope than what you just saw because this one obviously is new. Also, if you want to have a reading with me, it's $99 for an hour right now, and I'll give you a 15-minute follow-up for free anytime this year. So check it out. Treat yourself like royalty if you like to. And the last thing that I'm most excited to announce is this, GA Venus. GA Venus is how we're kind of forming the new soul garden. A lot of people wonder, where's soul garden? Where's it going? Well, all of our talent, all of our wonderful on-camera talent, the people who are part of the community, we've been asking these people to join us on a creative team. And we are now launching GA Venus, a service just for women, mostly by women, but lots of really smart, sensitive guys. And also dedicated to text messages and emails and videos and programming every day of the week and some cool little features I won't mention right now. So if you want a free trial, this free trial, ladies only, sorry gentlemen, come on down to gavenus.com, fill out the thing, and we'll give you a free week starting on January 18th, January 17th, which is Soul Garden's eighth birthday. I'm turning eight years old and I'm getting old. Hear my old voice. So your majesty, that's all I have for this week. Remember to practice your plur. And I will see you in seven days with more. Uh, loving seeing you again. Until then, live, love, be.